Hello everyone, this is Bill again with Just Knots Custom Paracord. Today we're going to be doing uh, a tutorial on a 7 lead 6 byte Turks head knot. Um, we're going to go through that step by step and then we're going to turn it into a gaucho fan knot uh, which will look like the one that's there uh, sitting on my mandrel. Um, this is the mandrel that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's approximately one and a quarter inch round. Uh, got it set up for the six bytes here. Um, we're going to be use, I'm going to be using approximately five foot of each color which is the lime green and the neon yellow. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here um, with all of them. They're always going to be numbered one through six, which on this one will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. One is always noted by the the hole in between the two. One will always be to the right of your hole. Uh, if yours is set up like this, you can put the end of your cord through the hole to hold it in place. Okay. Now. I'll go through the run list on it slowly so that you can you'll be able to keep up with it. As like I said, you always start with number one. Uh, and for this particular knot, you're going to go from the top one to bottom number four, which will be one, two, three, and four. Okay, that would be your first one there. And then you're going to come back up and around to number two. You're going to cross over the number one here to number two. And then from two, you're going to just follow right around with this cord here all the way around. And then you'll come over to number five. And then you just continue through the whole thing and then back up. Whenever you get here, as you can see, this cord here went over on the first time around. So on this one here, you'll need to go under that cord. Always make sure you get all the kinks out of your cord where it's nice and straight. And then you can bring that over to number three. And then you continue through, just keep following the cord before, come down. As you can see, this one here is over. So you're going to want to go under your next cord. And that'll bring you to number six on the bottom. Then to continue on back up, since you went under the last time, you're going to go over this one and then under the next. And then back over. And then just continue uh, with this one if the last one is under then you know the next one will be going over and then after will be another under uh, my cord keeps getting all tangled up here together and then back over to your next one and then keep going back this one will be under Over the next, under, and then over the last one, and then you're back to here. Now coming back down, you just keep following the same thing. If the last one was went over, you go under with this one. Over your next one, 
then under need to make sure that you always keep all kinks out of your cord that it's always good and straight as it goes through and then for the next one you come back it goes over then under over the next under and then you're back to the top and since this was the this last one here you've got number one here number six here if you look down you should be seeing the same thing on each side both sides should be over the next two should be under over under so we're going to do the exact opposite go over the first one under the second keep the cord straight the straighter you can keep your cord while doing it it'll be easier whenever you're doing uh, the final dressing of the knot your cords won't be getting all tangled up and then under over the last one and then around the peg and then here since you've got over here you'll go under coming back up and then just continue with the over under over and under and that'll bring you right back to the beginning now if you want the way I usually do is I'll run my pot my last the lead up underneath the beginning lead and then you can just take and tuck your cord down through the center of your mandrel if you have one that has a center on it okay now that's the basic six lead or six, seven lead six byte Turk's head the six bytes is because of the six pegs around the side and then seven leads you've got one two three four five six and seven that makes it the seven lead now with the basic done you can either turn this into a double pass by just following your original lines all the way around to make it a double or in this case turn it into a Uh, gaucho fan knot so I'll get my second color ready here and then we'll get started with that okay now you're gonna start back in the same spot that you did earlier you're gonna go under your first cord and just follow it all the way down Okay, since this, this was our original lead cord right here, coming down, we're just going to follow that. It's doing the same thing that it did. If it goes under, you go un under the cord. If it's over, then you go over. And then we'll go under this one. Okay, now here, if you were just going to double this where it would be just an orange, green, and yellow uh, two color 
uh, tur Turk's Head, you would just continue following that quarter around, going under here, over, and so forth. But since we're doing a gaucho fan knot, basically what we're going to be doing is building a Turk's Head inside of a Turk's Head. So at this point here, where it comes around the post and over this one here, since it goes over here, what you're going to want to do is go out under that bottom cord like so. And then we're going to go back in over this one here. So you'll come out under here and then over this one here. So we're going to go over and follow your bottom cord here. Over here you follow this one. Here you're going to be following this cord. So we'll go under that one. Okay, and then under your next, like so, and then right here you see you've got the two cords here. Okay, whenever you're going to go under, you go under this cord here, but over this cord here. So what you're going to want to do is go under, push the second cord out of the way and go over that cord. And since you went under on this cord here, you're going to want to go over your outer cord here. So we come out over and then we return by going under the next cord, which will bring you into your next loop going down. Okay, and then we're going to follow this cord once again by just doing whatever it's doing. Go under. that one over the next and then with this one here since you have to go over this bottom cord or under your bottom cord here you're going to go over two which is over the original cord plus your second cord, your second color cord, go over it and then out under that cord. So as you can see, you go over this cord and over your second color cord and go out the bottom. And then we're going to come back in on the next one the same way. Just go around your post and go back up. And then continue following that one up. Okay, now we're coming back to another section where you're crossing over. Your, cord, your secondary color cords here, oh, sorry, missed, got it a little out of picture there. Uh, un, you've got your two secondary color cords here. Okay, when it, you go over on this one, you're going to want to go in between your two colors here. Go under, and you're going under your next cord. So you go under the second cord, but come out between like that where you're going under the first cord, under the second cord, but over the third. So you're going to want to come out before your secondary color there. Let's 
see. It'll go over your main color, under your secondary color, under the main color, and then back over your secondary color. And then you're going to go back out, which would be going over the two, to come back in on your next pass going down. And then you just follow the process on through by going under. I think the one thing that gets most people mixed up on this, this knot and on the pineapple knot is how to go over the two cords to get the pattern. Okay, now here you're going over here or under here so you're going to go under just the green cord or your original color cord and over your secondary color okay and then you went over you'll go over this one over this one oh, hold on no sorry take that back okay you'll want to go under both cords it's kind of hard to do this from behind a camera I get a little turned around sometimes. Go under this one, over this one, over this one. Whenever you're dealing with your original and secondary color cord, it's always either under two or over two. So here you went under the two, and then you go over the two, and then come back out on the bottom. So it should wind up like this. You go under your original cord, under the secondary color cord, over, over your secondary color cord to come out at the bottom. And then you go back in your next one you're always going to go right in around the next pin. So basically what you're doing whenever you're doing your secondary colors here, you did your original uh, Turk's head here and you're doing this one inside of this one. So basically you're using this area here as your pin for this Turk's head. Okay, so we'll continue on. Go over your next one. Under, you want to go just under the one. You don't want to go under both of them. Just go under the one and over your secondary color. the two, like I was saying earlier, you'll go over the two, under two, so you'll come under your yellow or your secondary color and then your prime, your original color and then come out over the secondary color to bring it back to the top. And you come out over, and like I said, you're using this area here as your pin. So you'll be going around it, so you'll be going back in right next to it. OK. 
okay and then we continue over under let me turn this around so I can see it here okay then we're going to go over the two under this one under this one so you see you go over two under two and then back over to once again to come out from under your original cord here at the bottom right there and we'll bring that out and then come back in under here and then continue go over the one under two <coughs> and then we'll go over two under two sorry my phone battery just got down to 15 percent so it cut off my little spotlight there but hopefully you can still see it and then we're back here to the top with your last two which you'll come out over and then back in on this side here to bring it down and then under the next one you'll go under your next one but over the yellow or your secondary and bring it down okay uh, I know I'm not very good at this, at this. I don't really have a good place to do any videos, but I'm trying trying to do my best here to try to help people out. Uh, so here, you come out here. Uh, actually, you'll come out between the two, like so. When you come under this one, you go under the two, and then you'll go over two, which is these two, and then you'll go under these two to bring it back down to the bottom. When you go over the last two and under your bottom cord here once again. And as you can see, you can start to see the zigzag pattern coming through. So we'll go back in under here, but miss the second cord to go over. So now you go over the two, under two, so you're coming out right before your yellow cord there, and then you'll go back over two, under two, which will once again bring you out right in front of your secondary cord there go over and then we're back to the top we'll go back under next to the next pin 
to start the next spot going down. Okay, and we're going to go over to and then under two so it'll be like look like that and then once again you'll go over two under two oh missed it there over two so once again going over the two and then under the two now we're back at the bottom so we're going to have to pull this cord out of the way come back out under the bottom cord here So on the bottom, you always go under your original cord. On the top, you always go over. Now coming back in, as you can see here, this one goes under here, this one goes under. So whenever you come back in on this one here, you're going to have to go under two. I think I got mine a little bit too tight here, but you go under two, like so. That brings you back in, and then you just do the over two, under two, For the last one, you go over two, under two, which will bring you right back up to the top, which is where you actually finish your cord out. So this one is actually the, the ending of this cord here. So you just end, your, end it there, and then you can take your pins out, uh, whatever you need to do. But you can see all the way around you've got the zigzag pattern, which is the gaucho fan knot. And you just take it off and tighten it, starting with your first cord here. Go all the way through, tighten it all the way around, and then come back and tighten your secondary cord. I uh, wouldn't tighten it too tight on your mandrel. Just get it down to where it's a little snug. Because whenever you, if you've got it too tight, whenever you pull it off of the mandrel, it's gonna shrink a little bit. So your outside diameter is, as you can tell, it's a little bit smaller than what it is on the mandrel itself. That it's gonna shrink both in length and in the diameter. But once you get it all tightened down and you've got you're ready for it to go on to whatever it is that you're going to be putting it on uh, you'll have your oh, that one needs to go back down through there you'll have your extra cords which you're going to want to take them to go through and out the bottom and make sure you have them where they come out the same as the rest of them here. So it'll be green, yellow, green, yellow. So you'll want them to go green behind your yellow so whenever you pull it down and pull it tight it's going to make it look just like the rest of it where it's nice and uniform all the way around. And then you've got your other two coming out here, uh, which is your beginning leads. And once you get it all tightened down on what you want, then you can just clip 
right at the bottom of your knot here and at the top here and then either singe them and smash them down to where they they seal or you can just take uh, your fid or whatever and kind of tuck it in behind because once this knot is tightened up it will not come undone uh, that is your seven lead six byte turks head uh, turned into a gaucho fan knot i hope that this video does help someone uh, like i said i'm not too good at doing videos this one turned out a little bit longer than what i was hoping um, but hopefully this helps someone um, again this is bill with just knots custom paracord and y'all have a good day